Hi, Ben from How You Guys. Hi, yeah, Good hi. to meet you, sir. Yeah, I spoke to Chris earlier about how sort of personal this project was to him. Right. So how was that sort of taking a very personal story and turning it into a movie? It was quite weird, the process, actually, because I grew up, I was a little bit too young to see The Stone Rose the first time round, and so I've always felt like I kind of missed out as well. He was worried because he, he kind of was the right age, but he missed out on the day he couldn't get a ticket. And I always felt like I just kind of, I just missed the best band of my lifetime, and I just, you know, I'd never get another chance to see him. So in that sense, I kind of felt invested in it as well. And it wasn't necessarily, actually, once we started making the film, it wasn't necessarily just about the music. It was more like, I kind of felt like when I was growing up, I wanted to be a filmmaker, and that was never going to happen. And you might have the same feeling, want to be a footballer or an astronaut. So I think everyone's had that feeling growing up. So in that sense, I could can feel like I could relate to it and, and make it real for my life. It's interesting you bring up sort of wanting to be a filmmaker, because I, I understand you sort of worked with Chris on 24-hour party people. Did, yeah. um, what was your role on that? Oh, I was a runner, I was basically an assistant for Michael Winterbottom and his company and I was working in the office in London and what's great about Michael and his company and Andrew, his producer, is that they just give people opportunities. So I, the first time I ever met Michael, I was basically supposed to be making the tea, photocopying, answering the phone and he said, well, but what is it you really want to do? And I said, I want to be a director. He's like, all right, well, can you shoot, can you cut? And when I told him I could, he was like, okay, well, let's see, see how it goes. So he brought me up to Manchester, gave me a camera. I started filming second unit. I was running around, people waving guns at me, and you know, it was all ended up in the film, which is amazing. And then when they needed to cut a promo for the film, I started editing it as well. So in that sense, it was, you know, I got my first opportunity basically on 24 Hour Party People. So you literally are the guy who did the runner to direct a thing then? Yeah, basically, you know, and I think there's all kinds of ways people do it now, but I really, it, that, the kind of apprenticeship through Revolution Films, through Michael Winterbottom's company worked for me. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.